The first half of 2023 has proven to be quite a volatile one. We kicked off the year with the market expecting a strong reopening in China when lockdowns were lifted, and we subsequently saw those expectations reset as the trajectory of the reopening underwhelmed. We also saw sharp rises in the tech sector on the back of AI optimism, moderating raw material prices, offsetting concerns over inflation, and general worries around a global recession. Against that, the MSCI APXJ benchmark rose modestly by around 3% in the first half. Looking forward, we are seeing pockets of optimism in a number of these areas. Firstly, a US-led recession appears to still be elusive, while inflation looks to be behaving itself. In the Asian giants, China's recovery is gradually picking up, while India's macroeconomic and corporate fundamentals continue to stack up well. Elsewhere within tech, we are seeing trends like AI add new tailwinds for an already structurally growing sector, while valuations still appear attractive against that backdrop. We will delve further into these points in the coming slides. As you can see here on the left, the US has sharply come out of a period of low rates, but we have yet to see a hard landing in the US economy on the back of that. But if we look at how the US dollar has been trading relatively sideways, it seems to suggest that expectations are already for rates to be near a peak. If we then look at inflation, we can see that inflation numbers have started to roll over, which also supports the case for rates to be near a peak. Here on the left, you can see headline consumer numbers inflecting this year. And even in higher, relatively higher inflation Asian countries like India, you can see on the right that inflation is now under the upper limit of the central bank's tolerance range, leading the RBI to pause on rate hikes. With that easing backdrop, if we then zoom in on corporate fundamentals in India, you can see here that balance sheets remain healthy, while earnings continue to post good growth and returns. Having said that, it is still important to bear in mind that this is not without risks. We are heading into the monsoon season, where disappointments here could impact food prices and inflation, as well as rural consumption. So these are things that we will be watching into the coming quarter. Now let's move across to the other behemoth in Asia, which is China. As you can see on the left, we are finally observing a fledgling recovery in services, and over time, as the reopening benefits continue to materialize across sectors, we do expect more spending to be supported by excess household savings. Within this, however, it is key to remember that consumer sentiment still remains lackluster and it's difficult to say with confidence when this recovers fully. The positive, however, that we can see on the right-hand side chart is that given where inflation numbers are in China, there is headroom for policy support to help move things along. Staying in the same vein of recovery, the tech sector is one that continues to be a bright spark this year, as expectations are for the cycle to be nearing a bottom, even as demand visibility remains debatable in certain segments. And if we stretch out the view to the longer term, however, this year's spotlight on AI has reinforced the increasing need for high-end computing power into the future. Beneficiaries within that include tech giants like TSMC, where another tailwind for growth has been added, albeit at still an early stage. This also bodes well for equipment manufacturers like ASML, where their tools will be key enablers of this thematic. This is further bolstered by the charts on the right, where on top you can see the coming expansion of the autonomous car market and the subsequent rise in semiconductor content in the car, which then drives the overall addressable market for semis higher. It is a similar conclusion from the bottom chart, where the continued and quick adoption of 5G across markets would also facilitate demand growth in the sector. Now, putting all of that together, we see the outlook for earnings to improve into the second half of the year and continue into the next. This is expected to be backed by what we have discussed across the key giants in Asia, the tech sector, as well as continued post-COVID recovery across other markets in Asia. On valuations, we are still observing that Asia continues to trade at reasonable levels, while that discount to the US persists despite an arguably healthier outlook for recovery now in Asia. Now, this is also reflected in allocations, where Asia remains at decade lows, perhaps still indicating investor worries around when is the opportune time to take a step back into Asia. As we progress through the next earnings season, we expect the market to be keeping a close eye on how the topics we have highlighted will play out in fundamentals. As these things take shape, this should pave the way for more investor confidence in the region.
Amid that, it is even more important to keep a laser sharp focus on quality and not buy blindly into themes, because the opportunity now to back the winners into a recovery is one that is predicated on fundamentals. While uncertainty and volatility in markets are likely to persist, we see high quality companies across Asia standing to benefit the most from the shorter and longer term tailwinds that we have just discussed. Thank you.